What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 36 of Onshape. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move uh, forward with making our selfie stick assembly. <clears throat> now, what we have here is a little bit of kind of an interesting thing where I want you to think about our constraints, how to move forward with them, at our mates, and then how can we do them in our, a very efficient manner to where our parts do kind of as we want them to do or as what they really should do in real life. Now, the cool part is is that all these pieces have already been made for you. Uh, when you click on in insert and other documents, if you find selfie stick, there's been a couple of teachers have already ported the fusion version, those IPT files into Onshape. And so what's really awesome is that you can just find one. If you like it, click on it, steal it, and then you're good to go. As you can tell, I've already pulled in my pieces in here. So I really don't need to do anything else in particular. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just do my assemblies from these pieces right here. Okay, first thing we're going to do is take our, our very first piece that we know is not going to move and we're going to fix it. So we're going to find this stick bottom. We're going to hit right click and then fix. Now this piece won't move. This is going to be a little important because as I do some other mates, if I test the piece out, it's going to be dragging around rather than doing what I expect. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out our next part. So we're going to slide, use our slider mate. We're going to put in this piece right here. So I'm going to click on the bottom of this circle. And I'm going to try to get to the bottom of the circle in here. Now what that should do for me is it should go ahead and throw it in the correct direction, correct orientation. If I hit play now, does it work correctly? Does it go in the correct direction? That is yes. So that means all we need to do now is work on our limits. What I'm pretty sure is that we're not going to have it go any further back because it's going to go through the bottom. But instead we want to slide the full length upwards, which I know is going to be 12 inches here. Oh, there we go. Oh. Going the other way. Negative 12 to 0. There we go. All right. There you go. Sliding as expected. We're continuing to move on. Oh, let's try that again. I clicked exit on that. I really didn't mean to. We got slider. Bottom of this to the bottom of my inside here. There we go, hit the green check mark. I actually just checked those limits again. Let's do negative 12, 0, hit play. There we go. Green check mark now. How about that one? Okay. Now let's work on the next pieces of our assembly. We've got our stick adapter here, which is going to go to the stick to the shoes. So are the shoe pieces. And that's going to be a revolute. So we're going to click on Revolute. I'm going to zoom into the bottom of my adapter here, and I'm going to find the very edge of this inside circle. Now that very edge of the inside circle is going to revolute around that uh, circle right here. Every once in a while, if your orientations of your work planes are off, it's the pieces are going to come in overlapping each other. We can just flip primary axis and then hit play. There we go. Things are looking good. Okay. The next piece we have is going to be the first bit of our shoe, I believe. Let's see what that is. There we go. Shoe bottom. Okay. We're going to do the same thing. We're doing another revolute. We're going to do this circle. It's going to go in revolute around this circle. There we go. There's going to be a little bit offset though. You see how it's a little bit uh, to the right. So let's let's squeeze that over just a little bit to the left. So let's do an offset in the Z direction, and let's do that just maybe negative 0.1 inches. Oh, let's do 0, 0, 0.05. No. Let's do 0, 0.25. 
just a little bit to make that nice and even in between. Okay, click play. That's it, we're looking good. The only thing we need to do now is fix those limits. As you noticed, it rotated through the adapter. That's breaking physics right there. So let's go ahead and just say this is gonna go from a negative 90 to a positive 90. And so I found out that if I hit play on the second time, it's updated. So if you find yourself like, man, that really should work, just hit play again and see if it works. Uh, if you type in a number but then don't hit enter, it hasn't input that number yet. It's just another little buggy thing. Okay, so that's looking good so far. Now let's look at our next piece that we're going to do. Our next piece is going to be our shoe top here. What should be shoe top? There we go. All right. What we're going to do here is we're going to do a fastened mate. So where, there we go. We're gonna fasten this face right here. Nope, that's not what I want. There we go. We're gonna fasten this face right here with this face right here. Now you might say, hold up, something's a little off here. And that's because I intentionally chose my face very quickly, and I found a lot of students, if not paying attention to what they're clicking on exactly, they're clicking on one side of the face rather than the center of the face. So how do we click on the center of the face here if there's a hole there? So here's what I found out to be, is that if you hold down control, move to shift, there we go. If you hold down shift, that it, this face will stay active, and then you can click on the center of that face there. That way it's clicking on the center of the face. There we go. And not the center of the hole. So that when I go here, it should be face on face. Again, they're, they're going through each other, so we gotta flip that axis. And then we're gonna do a little bit of an offset here. That offset is going to be uh, upwards of 3 eighths of an inch. Okay. There we go. And we are good to go, we're rolling. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that looks good so far. What are we gonna do next? Well, we need to put in our next bottom pieces. Alrighty. Now what I kind of could see from this picture so far, it looks like this shoe is supposed to go in through the bottom of here and into here. I couldn't quite make it out. Somebody welcome to shout out in the comment section about what this is supposed to actually assembly, final assembly is supposed to look like. Um, but my best guess is that this rubber shoe is supposed to go through the bottom of this and be a compression insert here, um, but I couldn't quite figure it out. Okay, anyways, we have our pieces right here, but now this next constraint we actually need to put on going through this other part. And so as a nice reminder, if a part's in your way and you don't need it at the moment, you can make it invisible and do what you need to do. So we got uh, this shoe bottom here is actually my way. Okay, so let's check this out. Let's do another fasten mate. Let's fasten this. To that. There we go. And that means when I now tip up my shoe bottom back in, we can see that everything is looking good. Okay, all we got is two more pieces, three more pieces, and we are done for today, folks. Okay, let's continue on with our fastens. Let's fasten you know, this face is gonna fasten with the center of this face. Notice I still did that um, where I hold down shift, that way I can click on that face as I need to. 
Okay, and there we go. We're looking good. Alrighty, let's do one more fasten mate. We're gonna do the edge of this screw. And we're gonna do it to the edge of that inside screw. Now remember, when I do um, fa mate, fasten mates, I tend to find the inner parts that can touch that way when I uh, select the two, we're good. So I selected the inner side of that circle of the threads and then the outside circle of my uh, shoe bottom here and everything's nice and good. Okay, and then the last one's gonna be uh, one more slider constraint. And we're gonna put is these piece, this piece right here is gonna slide past this piece right here. Now, the reason we're doing a slider constraint is because we want this selfie stick to be able to accommodate for different phones. So what we're gonna do is click play. Okay. And, oh, oh, accidentally rotated it. Get back there. All right, let's click work on our limits here. So our limit's gonna be zero from, let's do one inch and see how that does for me. Okay, we could probably go a little bit further. Let's do one and a quarter. All right, let's do one and three quarters. I'm sorry, not three quarters, three eighths. All right, that looks good to me. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this is what we have so far. We have a fully made self selfie stick assembly. Now let's test it. So when you're doing assemblies, I recommend maybe test it part by part to see if everything works. Let's see if we're good. So does my shoe come out of my selfie stick? Yep, and everything works. See how this object is moving along with me? We don't like that. Let's go to our bottom here, our stick bottom. Right click and fix it. By fixing it, it means it won't move. I can't move this bottom part. So as I'm moving those other parts that are attached to it, we can see if those things are moving as appropriate. So does it slide in and out? Looks great. Does it rotate easily around? Hey, there you go. We put on that other constraint in there just fine. And then does this rotate that 180 degrees? Looks good. And the last one be, does this accommodate all phone sizes? We can extend and go short as needed. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. We've made our selfie stick. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. If you think that shoe bottom piece goes in a different spot, I'd love to hear your responses on how you figured that out. If these videos are helpful, please, please, please like and subscribe as it's been a blast to do these videos so far and I would just like to continue more. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.